What's good, man? It's your boy Blanco De Niro coming live from the Port City, Wilmington, North Carolina. Today I'm going to sit down with my boy Jamma. He's going to tell you a little more about his clothing line and what's the inspiration behind it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so this my boy, man. Tell me a little more about this stuff. Jam, born and raised in Wilmington, North Carolina, 26. And the uh, clothing line I'm presenting to you is Street Runners Couture. Formerly presented to you by Hassan. Most people call him Pope or Fat Fool. So, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start this thing off by saying that, um, you know, Wilmington natives would probably agree when I say that, you know, Street Runners Couture is one of the most influential clothing lines in uh, Wilmington and one of the first um, as well. So, John, tell me a little more, like, when did y'all get started? What year was that? We started back in 13. Yeah, street Runners Couture before he had a line before that which was dope fashion. Yeah. And he turned it into Street Runners Couture. Then his motive was like it was something more for the youth to have something to look forward to and it was affordable. So it was like that was more so his drive for it. As time went on, his creative mind started hitting. Yeah. So it was like he came up with multiple designs for women, men, and little kids. Yeah, I remember when I first met him, man, I guess this had to be uh, 2010, I want to say, 2010, 2011, but he just kind of popped into the shop, and you know, him and one of his friends, they was walking by, they weren't coming in to see what we had going on, and um, I was like, yo, it's a print shop, so I asked him, you know, what their name was. They had any hobbies, what they like to do, you know, where they came from. And he was saying they was rappers, they like to rhyme. So I told them to bust me a rhyme right there on the spot. And they was like, what? Nah, man. Uh. I was like, man, y'all ain't no rappers, man. Get out of here. So, you know, they kicked the rhyme for me. I was like, all right, all right, it's pretty decent. But, you know, I just invited them to always come through wherever they in the area, always come in. They ever want to learn anything about graphics, anything, I just put the invitation out there. They could always come in. They had a place here, choices. They could come in, hang out, learn what we did, and vice versa, you know, whatever. So, Hassan, he was always coming through, and turns out he, he, he had a knack for graphics. So, we put him to work, and he was involved in Link, which is um, Frankie Roberts' program. Shout out to Frank. What up, big bro? And, um... So I was like, yo, I got to get you down here, Pope. So um, I think uh, Tiba, Tiba was running the program back then. Piece of T, what up, fam? And um, so we got Pope in. He got him in here. And phew, man, it was just like, wow. We just, he became like my little brother instantly, man. He was picking, I was feeding him knowledge. He was picking up with it. He was running with it. Um, he said he wanted to create a line. I was like, go ahead. So I was showing them what to use, um, showing them the programs, showing them the equipment, and man, he didn't look back. Before I know it, like I was showing him how to sit screen. He would always come through. Val, you need anything? I was like, yeah, man, I need these screens washed. He was on it, yo. He was washing screens. I was like, yo, just let me know when you're done. He would leave. I would come back. He would still be there. I was like, man, this dude is. Dude is alright, yo. I mean, I remember it. I remember when we had that uh that uh fashion uh fashion design party at uh what was it, Empire? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a good night, man. Uh, you know, the amount of support that y'all had in the city was crazy at that time, man. It was it was everybody had on the Trimington shirts, you know, I know I did, you know, so you know, tell me a little more about um you know, what you plan to do going forward? What's the inspiration behind it? Well, the inspiration behind it really is him in general, really. Like, I thought about it over the years, and it's just like, I can't just let it die down right. off of what happened. And it's like, I know what he would want. And it's like, now, I feel like everybody should yeah. see 
his vision and what he wanted and how he wanted to do it. And it's like, I know the people will support just because it's him mm -hmm. and he was a loving dude. So it's yeah. like, he'll get that feedback that he wanted mm -hmm. when he was here, now that he gone, but it's just yeah. like, I feel like it'll, it'll hit harder than it would before. No matter how much time go by or how many years pass, Hassan will remain in my heart as a fighter, a lover, a protector, somebody that can make a way out of no way. A person that'll give you his shirt off his back because he ain't never have it on, first of all. Don't mess with me because you was going to always get him. No matter what, he was running down on everybody, boyfriends included. Even if the boy wasn't my boyfriend, what's your, who are you? You know, what's, you, what's your intentions with my sister? <laughs> that was him. Um, a person that never came a statistic to his environment or a product of the energy of his surroundings. And that's what I love the most about my brother. When I was younger, I never forget him telling me, just because you stay in the hood, don't mean you got to act like you from it. And that was honestly Hassan. I still to this day don't understand how my brother life got taken from him. And I'll probably never understand it. So I just live day by day to know that you never supposed to question God and everything happened for a reason. Um, rest in peace, bro. You always got my loyalty. Love, baby girl. Yeet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeet, yeah. Yeah, turn up, turn up. Yeet, yeah. <laughs> well, in the beginning, we had this loyalty group. And throughout the whole time, like, Hassan, he believed in it so much. It started off basically me and one of my close friends, Jazz. We basically believed in loyalty over anything, really. So it's like Hassan, he took he took heed to, to that so much, where it's like he don't even got loyalty family tatted. Everybody's supposed to follow suit at some point, but we didn't. But eventually it'll come, and a lot of people still remain. Some dropped off that that was with us, but loyalty is still a main priority with majority of us. In this time, it's like, you'll see, that's how we all started out. We was real close. He, we had a loyalty family. He was, he was that diverse of a person was like, he not just gonna have one set of friends. It was like a, you had a loyalty family, Guala Gang. Then he did his clothing line, he was rapping. But it's like, his loyalty was so pure and his love is like, you can do nothing but accept him as a person. I really want the world to know and see what type of person he was and what we lost. Hassan was a great uncle, brother, and friend. My brother was a man of his word, not only for me, but for my kids. I could call him at any time and we would laugh for hours. I really miss that. It saddens me that our time together was so short, but the connection was so real. I'll cherish those moments forever. It was like I knew you my whole life. Gone way too soon, but I guess heaven needed their angel more. We say, love you, Hassan. Say, love you, Hassan. We love you. Now we're going to touch bases on his more diverse side in which he rapped and did his clothing line. This is some members of the rap group, which they call it Guala Gang. And some, some members couldn't be there, unfortunately, but right now we got Age, Crash, Fluke, and Tato. And I'm going to let them speak more on their relationship and their bonds that they built with Hassan and the Vision. And we're going to start with Age. We're going we're gonna to start with Crash and let them speak on how they started. Hey, my name is Crash, Walla Gang, rookie to the rap group, as you say. Hassan, you know, hopeful, 
he got me started. Um, the relationship didn't start with the rap group, but I'm gonna say like the first time I moved to North Carolina, high school, first day of high school, was Lakeside, I met him on the bus. Funny dude, cool little dude, always had everybody laugh. Talk so much shit, he would make you laugh and make you want to beat him up at the same time, but he was so funny. Man, I, honest to God, he was so funny, man. He would make you just fall in love with him, it was just his presence and his personality, man. He just had that, that family unity, that bond that just bring people together. But um, lost bases with him in later years, I ended up moving away. I came back and uh, sitting down in the house in Casahane, everybody's like, hey, we starting a group. Yeah. <clears throat> and what was that group? Said Guala Gang. I was like, man, what is Guala Gang, man? What is this, man? We starting a rap group, man. My homeboy died. Rest in peace, he passed as well. Um, it's like, yeah, man, we just trying to get our rhymes tight, get our little flow going, so we go hit the studio. We, we gonna do this, we gonna make music, we gonna make movies. So they started in this room, and they just started rapping. Bullshit. Couldn't take it serious, but after a while, I got into it. I met the rest of them. So I ended up bumping into him in the later years. Yeah. Mm. Um, I miss him, man. He really illuminated the world, man. If y'all could have had the chance to meet him, y'all would have fell in love with his presence, man. And I hope that his clothing line just takes off and really be a blessing upon this world. And everything that his legacy touches, it lightens everybody's heart and broadens their horizon, man. Fat fool. Miss you, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, fool. I mean, fool go back since shit. Elementary? Yeah. What? You really? No rap. What? No rapping then? What? What? No rapping. A lot of plan. We had a lot of fun. A lot of years. Grew up. Young man. Started rapping. You know. And it's a lot. It's a lot with me and fool. In the games. 13th and then Shit, that's where it really started at On my way out of high school, he's coming in He was a good dude uh, Really through family You know, I got kids So it's kind of tired in through that situation Like I said, just being outside on the street Hanging with him Like Ed Christ was saying, funny dude You know, good kid to hang around um, Now I miss him though you know what I mean? I ain't been around that long, but the little time I did have with him was it's good. It was a good time. Love you, man. Be the best at everything he put his effort into. Feel me? So, I went, like, he was a role model to me. Feel me? Like, with doing the rap and wanting to do his own business and all this, that, and the third. So, growing up, we always was tight. I was like my best friend, you feel me? Me, him, my brother, my homeboy, Tashan, he passed away. At, we was like 15 years old. We all used to hang in Castle Lane at my house or his grandma crib. And from there, dang, man, it's just so much, man. It's hard to really put it all together, man. From having sleepovers as kids and running behind girls and doing this that you feel me and that's how i met jam and chaz and all them through food we started doing shows when one time at the show food and took his shirt off you feel me got stuck on the speaker man we just had a real excitement at night man first show ever we did and i mean damn it's just a lot man it's just too much but i really miss him though you feel me if he was uh if he was here today, what do you think he'd be doing right now? Man, he probably he still will be pushing this clothing line, man. And it'd probably be bigger than what it is now. Feel me? Then he'll be able to oh he always wanted a little man. I always say I was gonna have a little man, so feel me, and I had my first son. So and I named my son after him, Jamonte. Feel me? And I gave him my brother name too. My brother passed away also. That's who first originated, started Guala Gang. My brother Mark, Sonny, and Pope, you feel me? And everybody else just followed suit because that was the movement. Get the back, huh? Turn around and get the back up. Green.
Why are you so close? You got two in my face? <laughs> you got two. <laughs> nah, but me and Fat Fool, we grew up together, man, and from kids. Had good times together. All the way until. Had good times together, man. We used to. Went to school together. Ride bikes together. Party together. Take them to work. Used to have them late sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he's just a good dude though. I don't even understand how he even somebody like that would even lose their life. Like he was cool with everybody. He was a, a good friend, a good brother, a good son. He was a good uncle. I don't even know what to say. He was just a good man. I'm at a loss for words. The good one. Be gone quick. Over nothing. Senseless, senseless violence. Senseless. Over nothing. You know what I mean? I gave up funerals. I gave up a lot of that. You know what I mean? I love my brother. You feel what I'm saying? I love my brother. Real niggas. You know what I mean? And I never respect the game no more. I live in Atlanta. And I, I see how artists just move. You know what I mean? And I never respect another artist the way that I respect my brother and I love Fat Food. You know what I mean? I never see no other artists the way that somebody should have made it the way they should have. You know what I mean? That's Baller Gang, OTG. You know what I mean? And everybody speak about their game. You know what I mean? But we only the game, only the baller. And I don't speak much. But when I do, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth, you know what I mean? And everybody speak this crazy stuff and all that crazy stuff. But when you hear my voice and somebody see this, they gonna know it's the truth. It's rain don't speak much, you know what I mean? Fat fool, double G, Guala Games, Dot, Sunny, A, Crash, B.O., everybody. I don't even want to mention my name, man. It is what it is, man. Big up. Cam with my boy O. O, I just want to ask you if you could say anything to a fool today, what would it be? Well, first it'll be, I miss you. I love you, bro. And I wish we had more time to bond, you know, get to know each other and stuff. Yeah, man. I really wish you were still here. You know, I, I really, uh, shoot, Dang. I don't know what else, man. Long live Fulio, man. Folk, that was my dude right there. That was my guy. Right. That fool, man. First off, my name Chaz, aka Drop. You know what I'm saying? He gave me that name, so I stick with it. Hey, Rod, street runner Rod. You know my boy gave my name too, man. Feel me? That was my dog, man. You feel me? Shit. It's un un unfortunate situations and shit, you feel me? But we keeping this name alive. And he was really loyal in the rest, man. That's what he really showed me loyalty for real. All the way. I knew the word loyalty, but he really he showed really me the definition. That shit, like, definition of it. Yeah, sir. And every, ever since bro been gone, everything just went south. Just went south. You know what I'm saying? And Right, well, folks really lost it out here a little bit. Like, food died. Food was really the one that connected everybody. Like, food was the reason why I started coming around everybody. Goddamn, I ain't really, I ain't really fuck with niggas like that. Goddamn, food was the one that really bought me to niggas, and, and I started really vibing with niggas. And, uh, feel me, like, shit. That, that's that's the reason why me and me and me and bro so tight. Feel me? Everybody got that connection and. Shit, we been rocking ever since. Yeah, if it wasn't for him, like he said, what, like me and him wouldn't be close together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the way, the way yeah, you yeah. Is, like, Ever since then, we've been sticking together through the struggle, the mud, whatever. Good times, bad times. I know he's still here. He's still living. You know what I'm saying? I named my, named my son's middle name, Hassan. You know what I'm saying? After him. That's this so shit, much I really this love shit my really, boy. This shit really a lifestyle, though. Like, real for real. Like, Street run a ride, they know that. You feel me? Right, right, shit really right. a lifestyle out here. Like right, right. I'm trying to I'm trying to really build shit. Like like motherfuckers they come street run a ride now. Really? Shit. 
I really, I really keep this shit going. You feel me? Right. Every time I post, every time, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let that street runner label. I gotta put that on there. Everything. You feel me? Yeah, we've been, we've been down for a couple years, going through a lot, family issues, just trying to grieve. You know what I'm saying? So we've been out of commission for a little while, but trust the process. Trust it, tell me. It's coming back, coming strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's t-shirts gonna... on the way. Everything street running. Everything. Everything. Down to the label. Down to everything. Like for real. I'm telling you. Right, it's already it's really about to put some money into this shit and let this shit take off. It's already yeah. sound, so speak my nigga. Just be, just be waiting for it. It's coming. I, don't, I ain't gonna tell you when. Just wait. When it's coming, just know it's gonna drop hard. You know what I'm saying? With some fight. Just know that. Yeah. And, and more so like I, I really just miss him a lot, you know what I'm saying? I go see him sometime by myself, whatever. Just go talk go to him, him. whatever. Got I know he hear me, you know what I'm saying? Still dream about him. I know he talk to me all the time, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Back in high school, that's when I met him, you know what I'm saying? And he was really there for me. We was going, both going through some things, but we made it through. I was still in high school. He was out here trying to get it, rapping, selling clothes. And, and, and that was really our hustle at the time, you know what I'm saying? He was really grinding for a street run. And he didn't use, he didn't make his clothing line to get money in his pocket because my bro still work. Everybody I know he still was working, he worked at Sam, worked at the shop, and he still has clothes on. But that real wasn't the purpose. Real you know what I'm saying? He was really real grinding out here all night. You know what I'm saying? He was very creative. Or very. Late nights, early mornings. He really was. Energy was wild. He got me through high school. We both was going through it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said again, he the reason why I went to college. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say the reason why, but he helped me pick my decision what sport I want to play between track and football. He told me, you know what, Drop, you should do track because you fast like that. you like a little African out there. I said, you know what, you right. So I went ahead and went to St. Louis University. You know what I'm saying? A good track, track team. The best track team in the nation. I went out there and everything worked out for me. Everything worked out for me. So more so that's when it happened my sophomore year in college. When I got that phone call, that was 11 days from my birthday. You know what I'm saying? He passed away October 19th. My, my birthday, October, October 30th. Speeding. You know what I'm hitting, a hundred, hundred, hitting a hundred down the highway. I was hurt. And I was about to turn 21. I know we'd have been lit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. So I couldn't really, that year right there really hurt me. I couldn't really enjoy my birthday like that. We got so many good times, turn sessions, whatever. Just good times, funny times. We did everything. Anything you can imagine, we did everything together. And I just want to say I love my boy. I miss him. You know what I'm saying? Gang love. And love you, runners. my nigga. Putting Real. street brothers on the map. Hassan was an exceptional, exceptional son. When I say he had so much respect for me till I didn't know a lot about the rap in um situation because he cursed in a lot of his music and he had just that much respect for me that he would never let me listen to any of his music. So I really didn't get to hear a lot of his music until he passed, unfortunately. But whether he knew it or not, I would have accepted him regardless because I knew what type of person he was. I know he was a good hearted person. I know he never tried to just be somebody else and, or act like somebody else. I met this lady, Mary Ann Nunley. This was a lady that came into my life. So I introduced her to all of my kids and she just, she took a liking to all of my kids, but her son was, I can actually tell that was her favorite. She made sure that Hassan was focused on everything that he wanted to do in life. If he wanted to go to college, which that's where she wanted him to go, was the college. So she, he tried to honor that and do exactly what she wanted. He wanted it in a way, but more so to make her proud of him. He went to college for a little while. It didn't pan out for him to work, to go through college or finish college because he just wasn't that type of person. School was okay, it was good, but it was good just enough for him to graduate. And I, I couldn't ask for any more than that. He graduated, he walked across the stage, he was successful in other ways. He became successful by making his own clothing line. He became successful as in just being a young, respectable adult. He had so many people that looked up to him as a young adolescent, him like like one of the other guys said, Crash, he was older than Hassan, but he looked up to Hassan because his soul was just that type of person. He just had an old soul. And he didn't meet a stranger. And I'll never forget, he was seven years old. He made me laugh so hard, I was crying. 
And that day, I knew that me and my son was going to have the best bond ever in life. If Reek was here right now, he'll tell you what type of person he was. How that he could just, you could just sit and talk to him for hours about anything. And he always had some good feedback. He always had something nice to say. And I just miss my son and I love him dearly. And I just wish every day that he was here. And if he was here today, I would just hold on to him. Because the last time I seen my son was September the 30th, 2014. That was the day his best friend was killed. That was the last time I touched my son. That was the last time I hugged my son. That was the last time my son told me he loved me. And I knew he loved his mom. I did know that. I felt it every day. And I still feel it. As long as I got people like Jammer in my life, I always have peace with my boy. With this relaunch of this, uh, you know, line that you guys are putting out, you know, what would be the main motivation for you behind pushing this clothing line? I would say it really be to add to his legacy and to let the people know, like, even though he's gone, he got more than enough material that you will feel that love from him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even though a lot of people, some people probably didn't meet him, mm -hmm. you will know of him. Right. And that's why the whole purpose of the relaunching of it and of doing this interview is because I feel like some people may have forgotten mm -hmm. about Hassan. So mm -hmm. now I feel like it's time to really, I ain't gonna say remind you, but open your eyes up or open people's eyes up to mm -hmm. a great person, a great soul. Mm -hmm. So it's like, now, You'll see it through his clothing line, whether you believe it coming out my mouth or not. Mm -hmm. You'll see it through his clothing line and maybe some of his music. You mm -hmm. never know. Gotcha. Sounds good, man. Hey, much respect to you, brother. Hey, keep doing your thing. I want to see this thing keep going up. And uh, we're going to definitely take it to the top, man. Stay tuned for any links that you can support this clothing line. Stay tuned. Street Runners Couture. You got any information you want to give them? Just be on the lookout for big things happening within these next few months. Mm -hmm. SRC on the way.